Hey guys, what's up? It's Ocean the Skater here. We're back with another video, and this one is for World Guard. So, what we're doing in this one is looking at setting up priorities for regions. And this is a really, really important thing that a lot of people don't know how to use, and it just kind of sucks that people don't know. Um, so I'm hoping to make this video to help uh, teach people how to use it. So, let me give you some examples first. We have two cuboid regions right here. I haven't set them up just yet, because I want to set them up with you. But we have this outer blue one, and we have this inner red one. And uh, with the outer blue one, we'll call this probably uh, region blue, and this one region red. So in region blue, we can set, say, uh, PvP to be disabled. But then in region red, we can set it to be enabled. Now normally this, I think um, the PvP disallow would override the allow, but if you set up priorities, then you can allow people to PvP in the red uh, region, but not the blue one. So when setting up priorities, then the higher numbers are better. Uh, they override the smaller numbers. So the outer region, we maybe set like a 1 or something, I don't know. And then the red, we could make a 10. And if we make the, uh, if we give the blue 1 and red 10, then that means we can add other regions in between with uh, the numbers 2 through 9, so that uh, if we want different layers of priority and regions and stuff, then we can just do that really easily. All right, so let's set up these regions real quick. We'll get the blue one going. So blue, right over here. We'll do region define blue. And uh, let's see, we'll make this one right here red. Simple enough. All right, so we have two regions now. And we're going to set the flags now. So region flag blue, PVP deny. So now if I try and hit this guy right here, nothing's going to happen. We can't PVP here. Now we're going to go to the red uh, region and allow PvP. So if we take him in here, then you still shouldn't be able to because we are still inside the blue region and the PvP deny overrides allow. Now what we want to do is allow them to PvP in here and not out here. So what we do is we set up priority. So region set priority and we're going to set the priority of the blue region to be one. We'll keep it a nice low number. Now for red, we're going to make it, we'll just make it five. And now I can hit him in there. But once I get him knocked out of there, still can't hit him. So you can bring him back in, hit him, and he's actually, oh, it's because I'm not in there. Whoops. There we go. So yeah, that is basically all you have to do to set up priorities for regions. Now it, this can be used a lot of different ways too. This is, um, I think, the easiest way to show uh, how regions work and also a lot of people will have a PvP zone in their spawn so maybe they just um, keep it outside of the region and allow PvP in that. It, it, people do some pretty uh, sketchy things to make sure the PvP zone isn't inside the actual spawn zone but then they set a looter region around it just making so people can't build there and it's it's weird when you can just you know set a little priority up and you can just PvP boom so this can also be applied to lots of other things. So if I do region flag red and then T, then it shows a lot of different things. So building, that's one thing. So you could allow them to build in, a, say, a small region or something. Or you could save one small region, if you want, from being built in. Uh, PvP, as we've already said. Uh, chest access. So what you can do is, if you have like a lot of chests maybe in your spawn or something, I'm just going to use spawn as an example, because they, uh, lots of spawns can be very different, and all these things can probably fit in with spawn. So uh, maybe you just have a lot of chests around your server uh, spawn, and you only want them to access maybe two or three that are right at the spawn. Then you can allow chest access in that small region. Boom, there you go. Now you can have um, <laughs> chests on display around your server just to look pretty, and some at the spawn that you can actually use. Uh, the same thing goes for using stuff, so maybe you have trapdoors over glowstone or something to make them kind of look like lanterns. Um, but then you also have some switches that you want people to be able to use, then just set a little region for that. And the, those are all the uh, examples I'm really going to go over, but you can kind of apply this to a lot of different things. And I hope this really helped you out and maybe will make your server a little bit better. So thanks for watching. If you have any requests for tutorials that you'd like me to make, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to make that. So thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video, peace.